I don't, his Hadith scholarship is, you know, I've never seen anything from Al Albani that really differs from any other, you know, from the, the sort of range of normal methodology of other Sunni Hadith scholars from the 700s to the 20th century, right? I mean, he's, he doesn't, he's not like he has some methodology for, for authenticating or declaring weak Hadiths that other people don't have. And if, you know, people might disagree with his opinion on something, but they might also disagree with Ibn Haban or, uh, you know, Abdul, you know, Aduri or Dawraqi or Munduri or someone. I mean, there's all sorts of, you know, there's constant disagreement amongst Sunni scholars on these topics, on particulars of Hadith, um, Hadith judgment. So that's not a unusual. Third of all, I mean, I think that his, you know, his book, he did tremendous khidmah, he did tremendous service to the study of hadith. I mean, if you, if you just want to, if you just come across any hadith and you say, I want to know if this is authentic or not, uh, you know, it's not like every hadith out there has rulings on it. Um, it's actually really hard to, it takes a lot of work to go through an entire book and rate every hadith. And very few Muslim scholars ever did that. Um, and so, you know, if you find a hadith in Mu'jam of a Tabrani or in the Jam of a Tirmidhi or something like that, and you better pray that somebody somewhere gave a ruling on that hadith's reliability. Otherwise, it's no, there's no guarantee you're going to find that information. Well, Albani actually did. He actually went through a huge number of books and gave for every single hadith his opinion. And he backed it up with evidence. And that was a substantive, a real important contribution. And one of the reasons people always cite Albani isn't because he's some kind of, you know, they're, 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 he's some kind of superstar in hadith, you know, whose opinion matters more than anyone else. He might be the only person who ever offered an opinion on that hadith. And that's an incredibly valuable service. Yeah, he was a game changer uh, for sure. Yeah, um, and then if you look at his, you know, if you look at his discussions of, uh, you know, why he considers hadith to be weak or, or, or strong. You know, he lays out his reasoning and you can disagree with his reasoning if you're qualified. Um, and that's, you know, but that would be no different than if you were looking at a Dhabi or Ibn Taymiyyah or Ibn Hajj al Asqalani. You would have probably the same kind of disagreements because this stuff, a lot of it is, is, is based on judgment calls and weighing evidence that it's not kind of doing math, math problems. It's, it's a art, not a science. Well, and 